Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Uh, welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So, hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. In this video, we're going to be going over how to ruin my man, Whale Lord. Okay, I don't care what anybody says. This is a freaking whale. All right? Understand, it's like a man. It's so it's like a manta ray plus a whale. But look at that face. People are saying it's an alligator. No, you, you dumb. Okay, it is obviously a whale. I think it's the blueness vibe that I'm getting that is telling me that it is a whale. But man, nothing you guys can tell me says or is going to convince me otherwise. Okay, I'm just saying. Anyways, also wanted to mention if you're looking for a team, um, currently I am on War Enforcers, which by the way, before everyone freaks out and like, Odin, you are a team hopper. No, basically what I've done is I've made Dark Shades my sister team, War Enforcers, which I was leader of a year ago, I have taken back control of. Um, and I'm co-leading with Claudius, who is my old officer. Um, and we're working to take this team up to Sapphire, but Dark Shades is currently in Platinum 1. It will be like Platinum 2 to 3 after League Change. Um, I'm helping running it, so I'm kind of like a co-leader there. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in joining, let me know. We are, you know, still focused on Atlas. Our teams are working together closely still. Um, we'll do coordinated Atlas stuff and all that. So if you still want to work with me, but maybe you're not like level 300 plus, um, message me in game. My in game name is Odin and, uh, we can get a spot level wise, really looking for like 200 to 300. It would be great to get a couple of 300s who are maybe looking for a more relaxed, um, feel of a team. It's very chill. there. really just focused on getting people up in Atlas, um, and just letting people understand the game. But anyways, moving on to the video how to ruin Dreth. So don't necessarily take anything from this. This is mostly just because I wanted to get this guy leveled up. Um, but just looking at his skill set, okay, he gets a lot of his strength from his setup sort of spells. And what I mean by that is he's more geared towards taking out bases that are relative to his own level. He's not really one of those setup type bases. He can clean up bases, um, which is one of his specialties. However, his main thing is taking out bases that are relative to his own attack level, and he can do it fairly well. Um, and one of his big spells is this Sandblast, and this damages and freezes all towers in a target area. Now, let me read this little bit more detailed description. So, Sandblast, active, red, two, rage. Deals 18% of the dragon dragon's modified HP. Modified HP, that is very important, okay? As damage to all towers in a target area and freezes them for seven seconds. All right, so this is one of his biggest spells. This is really what defines what I suggest him having in terms of HP as in terms of runes on the dragon. What I would suggest as far as runes and glyphs go is that this guy can really, really benefit from HP type runes. So that could be like, for example, um, I have a sorcerer HP glyph. You can have sorcerer HP runes. You can have, um, like, for example, his mythic glyph, which the main thing that it does is the sandblast damage, which is not bad. Um, but the secondary modifier is that it also increases sorcerer HP. The one thing I will say to that, okay, is that's pretty good on this guy. However, if you're a higher level player and you're going to be getting other sorcerers, for example, like myself, I pretty much always save the Mythic Glyphs from the Seasonal Lines because these days they always have the secondary modifier as either HP or attack. Like, for example, all the Hunters have runes or Glyphs, like the Mythic Glyph gives Hunter attack plus eight, and that's crazy good. Um, so I save all the mythic runes or mythic glyphs, sorry, rather, um, from all these legendary dragons for all the mythics because the mythics are normally more viable. So would I suggest putting the mythic glyph on this guy? Maybe, maybe not. Personally for me, I wouldn't, um, for the majority of players, I would save it for a mythic sorcerer. If you're trying to push for a mythic one season and you need a good glyph for it, that is going to be super good for any sorcerer you got. Um, but the legendary rune is definitely something that I would do if you want to. The um, epic is definitely not a bad option either. Personally, for me, I just wanted to get that little bit more um, wisdom. Well, obviously, like you can make a joke there, but I'm not because uh, I'm not cringy at, at all. Not that I start my videos with yo, 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 and that's definitely not cringy. But 
anyways, um, where, where is this thingy? Uh, Room in the Shore, so you can increase blast damage by another, I think it's probably 10%. Um, the only thing with that is that if you have, let's say, a legendary sorcerer HP rune, I think that debatably is actually better form, um, because if you can increase sorcerer HP by an extra added, uh, percentage, that will also, I believe, exponentially increase the damage that Sandblast does anyways. And you also get the double whammy because the Sorcerer HP is also going to increase the Sorcerer HP. So he's going to live longer. And this dragon, as long as you can keep him alive, sort of, um, that Hydro Strike restores 20% of the dragon's modified HP on cast. So the more HP you have, the more that's going to heal for and the more tanky that this guy is going to be. So personally for me, I think Sorcerer HP is the way to go as far as runes and glyphs. Um, rage isn't necessarily a bad option considering that the Whirlpool is one Rage every use, and there is no cooldown uh, for that Whirlpool. You can continue to use it as long as you want. So you could, technically speaking, disable as many towers as you wanted to, but the only thing is, is that you need that Rage. So Rage isn't necessarily a bad idea. Um, you know, maybe what you could do is put, like, the Legendary Rune of the Shores, and then maybe a Legendary Rage or an Epic Rage. Then for Glyphs, maybe putting, you know, an Epic... Epic Rage, again, I'm assuming, you know, this is for, like, lower levels who maybe are new to the game and don't have insane glyphs yet. Um, you know, put, like, an Epic Sorcerer HP, Epic Rage, and then maybe his Mythic Glyph probably would suggest against it for the majority of players. Save it for a better dragon, and then as the final glyph, maybe, like, an Epic Sorcerer damage. Um, because Hydra Strike deals 2,000% 2, 2, of dragon's attack power, so that's pretty significant already so really a ton of extra damage is not going to affect this guy this guy is not meant to is, he's not going to benefit i would say from a lot of extra attack he's going to benefit from that hp because the sandblast is what's going to deal the majority of the damage and since it's not based on attack which in my opinion would make more sense um i would i would just go for a straight hp across the board um anyways Hope this helped you guys out uh, trying to decide what you want to do. Let me know down in the comments if you have any other suggestions or changes to this I I idea, I guess I guess you want to call it, I ideas. Um, but anyways, hope you enjoyed. Fingers crossed I helped you guys out, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.